It looks rather like a cross between a helicopter and a streamlined motorcycle, which isn't surprising as its inventor once designed and raced motorcycles. In gyroplanes, the rotors on top are not driven round by the engines, as in a helicopter, but take the place of wings, blown round by the airstream as the plane is pushed forward by the propeller. This prototype, powered by a small car engine, has just room for a medium-sized Irishman and a packed lunch, but later models may have space for two people. During a break in test flying, we asked the designer, Rex McCandless, what were the main advantages of this gyroplane over conventional light aircraft? It has the ability to take off in a distance of roughly 60 yards and land in probably 20 yards. It isn't affected really by weather conditions as a fixed wing is. If you should lose yourself, you can come down and virtually look at the signposts and establish where you are. That's its main feature, that it can go short distances with great safety and at low cost. Uh, we hope to sell this for approximately a thousand pounds. That's 400 pounds more than a very good motorcycle. Of course, one still needs a pilot's license to fly it. The instruments cover the simple essentials. Airspeed is measured in the conventional way. Five years work has gone into the design of the aircraft and frame. The propeller is driven by a rubber belt straight from the crankshaft of the four cylinder engine. And the whole plane weighs about 300 weight. You can see the machine is simple, but the controls are also simple. You have firstly a rudder which controls your direction you wish to travel in. You have a control stick here which when you pull it back tilts the rotor vertically and allows you to climb or by pushing it forward you can descend or turning to the left you can push it to the left hand side pushing it to the right will give you a right hand turn. We have a throttle here which uh, controls the power output of the engine. We have a spin-up lever here which uh, controls this shaft and gets this rotor spinning prior to takeoff. We have also some brakes and that really is all the controls we've got except for a hand starting device which uh, turns the engine over when you get into the cockpit and starts it without having the danger of swinging the propeller by hand. I hope you'll excuse this very old hat. Before takeoff, a final check with the control tower. Newton Orange Tower, I am at the holding point for runway 22. May I have your permission to take off, please? Over. Tango Sulu, you are cleared to take off. The QFE is 1018. Tango thank you. Out. The rotor spinning, facing into the wind. Full power is applied. The gyroplane is ready for the off. With a favourable wind, you can get up to 100 miles an hour and do about 30 miles to the gallon. Four of these gyroplanes are already on order. And given a bit of luck, Mr McCandless hopes before long to go into mass production.